Welcome to Infemix. This is a series of combinatorics, and in this video, we are going to discuss some examples of arrangements and permutations. Before we continue, please subscribe if you have not done so. Click the bell, like, share, and write your nice comments below. First, we recall the operation factorials. Factorials. Zero factorial is one. Recursively, n factorial is defined as n times n minus one factorial, where zero is less than n. In other words, n factorial is n times n minus one times n minus 2, and so on, times 3, times 2, times 1. Example. 3 factorial equals 2, 3 times 2, times 1, which equals to 6. 4 factorial equals 2, 4 times, 3 factorial, which equals to 4 times 3, times 2, times 1. That is 24. Types of counting. Next, we summarize four kinds of counting. We select K from men distinct objects. We are going to see the names of the types. Either the order is important or not. Either the repetition is allowed or not. Their formulas and their conditions. The first one is arrangement. Here, the order is important. And repetition is allowed. The formula is n to the power k. The condition is 0 is at most n and k. The second one is permutation. Here, the order is also important, but repetition is not allowed. The formula is n factorial over n minus k factorial. This is also denoted as p n k. The condition is zero is at most k, at most n. The third one is combination. Here, the order is not important, and repetition is not allowed. The formula is n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. The common notation for this is this. We read as as n choose k. It is also denoted by c and k. The condition is 0 is at most k, at most n. The fourth one is combination with repetition. Here, the order is not important, but repetition is allowed. The formula for this is n plus k minus 1, choose k. That equals to n plus k minus 1 factorial over k factorial times n minus 1 factorial. The condition is 0 at most m and k. Example 1. How many numbers are there up to 4 digits? So these are numbers of 1 digit, 2 digits, 3 digits, and 4 digits. Answer. An example of 1 digit number is 3. Now, in this case, this is actually the same as 0003. An example of two-digit number is 45, which equals to 0045. So, here we have four places. Now, the number 1233 is not the same as the number 3213. Therefore, here, order is important. So, here we see that the digit 3 is repeated. Therefore, here repetition is allowed. 
when order is important and repetition is allowed. This is an arrangement problem. So, we have here four places, and there are ten digits, namely 0, 1, until 9. For the first place, you can place ten possible digits there. There are ten possible digits for the second place. Ten possible digits for the third place. And ten possibilities for the fourth place. We multiply them and get 10 to the power 4. Example 2. How many numbers are there of four distinct digits containing no zero? Here is the answer. Let's analyze this problem first. We have four places. The number 1234 is not the same as the number 4321. And therefore, here the order is important. Because all four digits should be distinct, so this kind of number 4421 cannot occur. Therefore, here repetition is not allowed. When order is important and repetition is not allowed, then this is a permutation problem. Now in those four places, for the first place, there are nine possible digits to be put, because we can put any digit except zero. So they are nine possible digits for the first place. For the second place, we cannot use zero, and because all digits should be distinct, so we also cannot use the one digit that has been used for the first place. Therefore, there are only eight possible digits for the second place. For the third place, we cannot use zero, and because all digits should be distinct, we cannot use the digit that has been used in the first place, and also we cannot use the digit used in the second place. Therefore, there are only seven digits available for the third place. For the last place, we cannot use zero, and because all digits should be different, we also cannot use the digits used in the first the second, and the third places. Hence, there are only six digits available for the last place. We multiply them all. So it is 9 factorial over 5 factorial, which is the same as P94. Notice that this 5 is 9 minus 4. So, the answer is, there are 3,024 numbers. Example 3. For students, let's say A, B, C, and D want to sit on four chairs. How many ways can they sit? Of course, one chair is only for one student. Here is the answer. This is an example of how the four students sit on those four chairs. And this is another example of how they sit on those chairs. Now, these two ways of sitting are not the same. So here, order is important. And there cannot be a repetition, because no one can sit on two chairs at the same time. When order is important and repetition is not allowed, then we have a permutation problem here. For the first chair, any of these four students can sit there. So there are four possibilities for the first chair. For the second chair, the student sitting on the first chair cannot be on the second chair anymore. So there can be just one of the remaining three students to sit on the second chair. Hence, there are three possibilities for the second chair. For the third chair, the two students sitting in the first and second chairs cannot sit on the third chair anymore. So, there are only two possibilities for the third chair. For the last chair, we must exclude the three students sitting on the first, second, and third chairs. So, there is only one remaining possibility for the fourth chair. Multiplying them all, we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That is 4 factorial or P44. 
that is 24. Example 4. How many numbers are there up to three distinct digits? So these are numbers of one digit, two distinct digits, and three distinct digits. And here is the answer. Of course, here the order is important. And because the digits should be distinct, so repetition is not allowed. So this is a permutation problem. However, there are some different cases. We investigate the cases. The number of one digit is really one digit. So there are 10 of them, namely 0, 1, and so on until 9. Yes, it includes 0. For two distinct digits, we have two places. For the first place, we can put any digit except 0. Otherwise, it is just considered to be one digit. So there are nine possibilities for the first place. For the second place, because the digits must be distinct, you can have any digit here, except the digit used in the first place. So there are eight of them, plus digit zero. Yes, digit zero can appear here. So there are nine possibilities. Now, we multiply them. We get 81 distinct numbers of two digits. For numbers of three distinct digits, with similar reasons, we have nine possibilities for the first place, nine possibilities for the second place, and eight possibilities for the third place. We multiply them. Nine times nine times eight. We obtain 648 numbers of three distinct digits. So there are in total 10 plus 81 plus 648. That is 739 numbers up to three distinct digits. Example 5. Five students say A, B, C, D, and D want to sit on five chairs about a round table. How many different circular ways can they sit? Of course, one person on one chair. Obviously, here, order is important and no repetition is allowed. And so, this is a permutation problem. If we have five students to sit on five chairs in a linear fashion, then we have five factorial. But here we consider the sitting position to be the same as one can be obtained by rotating from the other. This way of sitting is considered to be the same as this way, which is obtained by rotating it. And also it is considered to be the same as this way also by rotating it in the same as this way and this. So there are, in this case, five of them. This way of sitting, there are five of them that are considered to be the same by rotation. So, if in the case of linear fashion, we have five factorial, here, because each way of sitting, there are five of them that are considered to be the same. So we have to divide it by five. So we have five factorial divided by five. That is four factorial, which is the same as five minus one factorial. So in general, if n people are to sit on n chairs around a round table, then there are n factorial divided by n. That is, in minus one factorial different circular ways they can sit. Example six. In how many ways five students say A, B, C, D, and D be seated in a line so that A and B do not sit next to each other? Of course, here order is important and no repetition is allowed. So this is a permutation problem. If the five students sit on the five chairs, like this, we see that student A sits on the left side, next to student B. This is forbidden. If they sit this way, 
we see that student A sits on the right side, next to student B. This is also forbidden. So what do we do? First, we count all the forbidden ways of sitting, and then we take it away from the total permutations. That way, we consider A and B to be one. First, when A is on the left side of B. So these four students to sit on four chairs. And we know that there are four factorial ways to do it. Now, when A is on the right side of B, we know that there are four factorial ways for these four objects to be placed in those four places. So the total number of ways that A and B sit next to each other is 2 times 4 factorial. The total number of permutations is 5 factorial. And from it, we take away the forbidden ways. So the answer to this problem is 5 factorial minus 2 times 4 factorial.